Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Noz Forgot to Turn on the Fucking Display Capture again. Welcome back to another. Welcome back to another. Uh, what day is it again? What day is it? Tuesday? T We're back to another Tuesday, which means it's time for another Noz Streams Dangin' Rampa 2. Oh boy. I can't believe Gundam is fucking dead. Mm. Alright, so... No, I'm not late, fuck you! I'ma smack your ass! Alright, so... We just got out of the restaurant. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I for- I for- Oh, yeah, I forgot about this pet thing, didn't I? Is it dead yet? Oh boy! I hope it dies! What am I supposed to do again? <laughs> Alright, we'll tackle Nazumi Castle! Right! Yeah! I was like, oh wait, we probably got- we gotta go to the- Gotta go to the- to the- Whatchamacallit, the thingamajig. The ruins, but no, it's uh, it's it's the castle. Of course it is. Yeah, they killed off all the all the intelligent people really fucking quick, didn't they? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, what the fuck happened to the door? Jesus Christ, Nagito! I get it. Yeah. You know what, I wouldn't be surprised if Nagato got into the fucking ruins, too! Alright, uh, see you- see you, Age. T damn it! Then the bombs are inside here, or they could be inside the ruins. Damn right! That's what it looks like. Um... And let's try going inside. Bye, Age. Enjoy the- enjoy the streams, oh boy. You're right. Alright, in we go! And let- let's -a go! Na -na 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 -na. And there. Okay. What is this place? I thought the inside would look more lighthearted than this. Um. The ambience feels similar to that of a temple or a church. However, it's just me. Does it seem like there are no bombs to be found here? Well, nah, it's not just you. Hmm. If the bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island, they should be pretty big. I hope he's gonna enjoy the rage. Because by god, those trials make me angry. I don't see anything. I don't see a place where they could be hidden either. Huh? Then the bombs aren't here. The bombs aren't here. But even so, I feel like there's something suspicious here. But why? It feels like this place is different somehow. It's feeling the same feeling I felt when I first saw the ancient ruin. What is this? Shit! To all subjects, the password to guide everyone to the future is. <laughs> this font doesn't match the ambience of the castle at all. It's almost like it was intentionally put here. Hey everyone, come check this shit out. Huh? Well, sir. To all subjects, who are they talking about? Is it? Thank you for the bits, Jimmy. I'm Mateo. Damn it, Nagito. About us? No room below that. Was it mean? What does what does this what does this mean? These strange symbols. What language is this? The password to guide everyone towards the future is lies. What the heck is this? Can't even read the most important part. Like, what is the password? To, hey yo, what is the password to guide everyone to the future? Even me. Ah, uh, maybe it's that password. Could it be? Could it be the password to access the ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future. Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that is written on the door. Whoa! The password is ravioli, ravioli, don't kill the little lolly. Like... But we can't read the password. There's nothing we can do. That is... It is it's a rather tragic moment. Hey, hey. I wonder who erased this. Oh, wait, hang on. I see, I see something here. It says... Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! You fucking jerks! Ha 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 ha! Sign Nagito. 
I wonder who could have wrote that. Race. It's not a. It's not a. It's not a rug. It's a like a piece of tile, a piece of rock. I mean, it doesn't feel like it was erased naturally, right? It looks like it's forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. Even so. Ow. My lip is bleeding. Ow. Hey, yo, but Manami and Manakuma shouldn't have come into this castle so, because they don't like mice, right? I won't forgive you. Then it was Nogita. He's the one who erased the passwords. Unforgivable. Get him, Mechamaru. Perhaps. Alright, uh, right. On the, on the back of my lip. I... Ah. Nagato probably discovered the password here and used it to enter the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin. I get it. Hey, yo, so we erased the password so we will be able to get near the bombs. What a piece of shit. I swear to, you know what? Lucky I'm not there, cause I just go in and be like, Pepsi kicks Coke's ass. Fuck you. Damn it. Damn it. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's true. He gave us a hint, even though he wouldn't be able to use it. Don't tell me. Oh man, I ate all my French fries. Damn it. Just so we could shove that reality in our faces. Damn it. There's no way we can enter the ancient ruin if we don't know the password. Tail, I'm gonna headbutt you. I'm gonna headbutt you. Unless, of course, that Coca-Cola executive decides to sponsor Twitch.tv forward slash Nozzy Chan. I'll, 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 I'll sell out. I'll sell out everything for money. I'll show. It's a joke. Coke is awful. It, in the end, we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward. They lure us this place, we'd be forced to confront that? Forcing us to confront the despair before us. Forcing us to confront how powerless we are. Game it! That's what Monokuma would do. Also, shouldn't Monokuma be, like, you know, stabbing Nagato to death right now? Because he just vandalized part of the island by blowing up the door. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just, I only just, I only got home, like, less than an hour ago, and I had to eat my food. No spoils. Uh, hey, um... Wherever you are, just you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't, you'll just end up dying too, you know? You. Hey, who are you saying that to? Uh, I don't know, I'm just saying it to everyone. Oh. Let's stop fighting amongst ourselves won't solve anything. Monokuma's a piece of shit. One point, let's work together to find the password the ancient ruin or clues might relate to it. Hey. As long as we cooperate, we'll overload the island and we're able to find it, you know? D damn it! Are you telling us to look Are you telling us to look everywhere for a password that might not even exist? Hey. Who would leave a password here in the first place and why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Monami, then who was it? We can't even answer this, there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Please wait! And what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? This is why Gundam's dick was bigger than yours. That is no different than when we were in the funhouse. And what did we learn there? We learned not to give up on living, right? Hmm. That Gundam was the only one who said that. The fucking knife comes out and goes to his throat. Speak shit about Gundam one more time, motherfucker. I dare you. <sighs> Very well then. I shall look for it on my own. Excuse me. At least someone here has testicles. But Sonya ignored me as I called for her and stormed out the area. Her shoulders were shaking a little, I'm sure of it. I mean... Ooh. What the? You insulted her dead boyfriend, you fucking idiot. Shut up! Shut up! Fuck you, Kazuichi. I hope you die. Like... Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Huh? Why? Huh? I mean, it's easier to move around that way, you know? In case someone wanted to secretly go meet someone. Hey, does that mean... Sorry. So I just act like I was thinking out loud and pretend you weren't listening. Damn it. No, for fuck's sake. Seems like almost every time everyone gets all united, Nagito fucks it up. Every single time. 
every single goddamn time everyone's all together and working together in harmony, Nagato fucks it up. I'm starting to think that, you know, maybe uh, Teru Teru should just let him do what he was gonna do. Stupid fool! Think so? Then please help! Huh. Yeah, leave it to me. I got a secret plan. I won't forget. Let's have to find you. the source of the problem and snap it off. Oh, she's gonna go snap Nagato's dick off. Could it be? I have a bad feeling about the way Akane's acting. I'll run after her. It's best we keep Akane away from Nagato for now. Far away. Y you're right. I, I guess I'll leave it to you. Yep. Okay, see you later. Chiaki ran after Akane. From there, I, only, I was the only one left. What does this really mean? What does that... Okay, am I going crazy or am I seeing K-Y-O-K? Is the password Kyoko? What's the password to guide everyone to the future? Is it Kyoko? I was the last to leave Nazumi Castle, and I wandered all over the island searching for clues to the password. But I didn't expect to find anything, and in the end that's exactly what happened. So time passed by with its usual speed. Bing dong, bing bong. It's not. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement right, to like, make. It's, I saw the K and I saw what it looked like a Y and I and I think I thought the third one looked like another K. No, Kyoko is the name of the uh, waifu from the first game. The canon waifu. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Is the um, is the is the password is the password a spoiler in of itself? Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find what we were looking for. After a while, I'd forgotten what I was supposed to be looking for in the for God damn it, Hajime. Oh jeez, all right. In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but I also didn't see them exploring either. That's because even though the island is so vast, our numbers have drastically decreased since we arrived. I can't think of any other reason than that. I should go back. Everyone's just getting high. Everyone's just getting high in the fucking in the in the fucking back room. Oh god, I bet it does. Password is this is a simulation. <laughs> Nagato said times runs out at noon tomorrow. Another day is about to end, which means there's only half a day left. I can't imagine the traitor will be revealed by then, since we don't even know if they really exist. Even if they do, it's possible they've forgotten that they are the traitor. All this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but my brain and body were yearning for rest, probably because of all the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began to surface in the back of my mind, one after the other before I could focus on the specifics of those images. I slowly sank into the depths of darkness. Those images were all nudes. It was all those nudes he found of the girls from the first game. Monokuma, shut the fuck up. Hey! That's... Bing dong, bing bong, everyone's dead. Ripperoni. Ripperoni and pepperoni. Eh. Ahem! Hope we speak a good. Okay. Now then! Hooray! Seeing this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. The bombs not gonna sit are gonna destroy all this. Once time runs out at noon, at the moment, there's nothing about our situation that's changing for the better. <laughs> God damn it. Usually I go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagato said. Sounds like he was planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait, he's gonna be there all day? Then if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do... Oh, he's dead. That man's dead. 
Someone, I hope someone snapped his neck. Th that isn't even a prediction, that's a fucking hope. That's a hope. No, you didn't miss anything, Roman. You didn't miss anything. Please, I, I want to walk in, his head is just snapped off his head, or snapped off his neck. Yes! Kill him, Akane! Now! Where'd you hide the bomb? Kill him! That hurts, but I'll never tell. Snap his neck! If you really want me to spit it out, you should try torturing me or something. Chiaki walks in, she's got like, fuck, she's got like, uh, like a, a tool kit. Okay, so I got pliers for his fingernails, hammers for his, for his fingers. Like, I got, I got like everything in here, Akane, just fucking strap him down, let's go. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there. Or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. Nagato, what's this amateur shit? For fuck's sake, give me my goddamn nail pliers. If you're not willing to fill me with despair, there's no way my hope will ever bur- oh. oh, please. Please. Let's just- let's just enjoy this moment for a second. It's this blessed moment between friends. Akane's hand suddenly wraps around Nagato's neck, and his face began turning a startling shade of red. Fine with me. Just die already. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Hey, hey. When is the uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m.? I haven't actually been able to record it yet because I because oh, I got home from work, ate my dinner, and then started this. So I haven't had any time to record it yet, so no spoils, for fuck's sake. Hey, yo, what are you doing? Ah! Akane! This is bad. Are you alright? Isn't she seriously gonna die? She's way too overcome by great technologists. Slap! Calm down, okay? I see Chiaki went to the Trash Mammal School of Police- of Police Martial Arts. And a slip! And a slip! And a slip! You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone. No, but I super am, though. Right? See, it's alright. Yep, no problem. Alright, so can I just choke him a little bit, like break an arm? No! It has to be quick. Sorry, I'm awake now. That's weird. What was I doing anyway? Hey, hey! That's what I want to ask. Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him. That's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thanks. Akane, please, please start choking him again. Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Huh? Hey, yo, serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Wow. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. Then... If you sincerely mean that, then please tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password to the ancient ruin? What are you going to do with that? Hey, yo, don't you... play dumb. You've hidden the bombs inside that ruin, right? You're right. Yep, I did. <laughs> Until yesterday. You cheating asshole. The fuck do you- the fuck do you mean? Hey, Nagata, what do you mean until yesterday? Well... There wasn't anything important inside the ancient ruin, just some familiar scenery. Jeez. I got bored of it. Also, if I hid them in there, they would be completely meaningless. <sighs> so even if you had managed to learn the password of the ancient ruin, it had no meaning anymore. Now that I've moved the bomb somewhere else. Hey, hey. But they're inside the ancient ruin, right? I'm glad. Anyway, I'm glad it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found right before the traitor confessed. Well... That's not like it really matters. In fact, it might be better. Amazing! Make hope shine even better, brighter! Bastard! Where did you put them, dingus? <laughs> hey. <laughs> A place you've all visited at least once. Hey, hey, hey! Really? See? 
everyone's been there once. Everyone's been everywhere at least once. This is exciting! <laughs> I... <laughs> I hate this man. I hate this man. Damn it! Dumbass! Oh... You are right. We must hurry search for the bombs. We still have time to stop them. I mean... Based on the place we search, I don't know where we should look. Shut the hell up! I still think that man... That man should be just chained up and left in a fucking closet somewhere to rot. Because then it's not murder. He died of... He died of starvation. No one's at fault. Exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of searching an island. Damn it. Just leave it to me. Hmm. But Connie has the first island, and I'll do the second one. <laughs> so you should get the smallest island you're okay with searching the central island. Huh? Anyway. You're probably not good at covering ground anyway, right? It's fine. You can search the central island. Chiaki, you search the third island in the hospital. Hajime, you search the amusement park island. And I'll handle the final island. See, the thing is... Byakuya started as a shitbird, but slowly came around. Nagato started as a decent person, and then quickly started taking a swan dive into being a cunt. Mm. I'm sorry I haven't found those bombs so we can take care of Nagato once and for all. Thank God for the Second Amendment. The simulation servers are set in America. Ch -ch -ch. We're not trying to even think about who the traitor is. It's ironic. Nagato is the reason we're all splitting up, but the reason we're all cooperating is because of Nagato too. It's pretty damn ironic. I'm trying to search the fourth island. I should search every nook and cranny. According to Nagato, the bombs have enough power to easily wipe out this entire island. Probably he's not very small. I'll definitely find it. Alright, so where's everyone been on this island? Everyone's been to the fun house. Probably with the bombs were placed inside this train. It's no use. I don't see anything that looks like a bomb. What about the fun house itself? No? Alright. Fucking... I hate Nagato so fucking much. Roller coaster? Roller coaster! Please, there's nothing suspicious here either. Damn it! Oh, uh... Hajime! But I don't have time to deal with you! Oh, uh... Did you see? Did you see? Huh? Ro 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 no! Robber! Robber? Emergency! Bad, my important thing got stolen! Our important thing was stolen? Now's not time to deal with her. I need to hurry and find those BAMS! It's not in Nezumi Castle, is it? I'm the trash man! Thank you for becoming a verified trash mammal, Rezag the Seventh Shadow! Hi! Uh, where's these fucking bombs? About her house. Yeah, the bombs part. Fun time. Why are there so many monomies hanging up? How should I describe this place? It's so cloyingly cute, I feel like I'm going to be sick. Yeah! No! Why is Hajime in my house? The door was wide open. Oh. As soon as she heard that, Monami waddled the door and... It's... It's broken! My security system is broken! The robber probably did it. Oh. No, a robber's no excuse. A female teacher with a young boy sitting in her house is just inappropriate. Yeah! 
I've been splattered with disgrace. Gee, she's noisy. Alright. Multiple monitors. These monitors? They're not displaying anything right now, but why are there so many? Are you monitoring us with these? <laughs> so I was right. Surveillance cameras all over the island, and the footage those cameras are recording. You were watching that footage on those monitors. You're monitoring us! I was until Monokuma appeared. I no longer have my magic sin. Because of that, Monokuma stole all my powers. So I don't have the authority to monitor everyone anymore. These monitors are useless. What does that stick have to do with the surveillance cameras? I can't monitor anyone. I have no other way of following your movements unless I rely on these somewhat nifty ears. I don't understand, but does that mean Monokuma has been watching us from those security cameras? That's wrong! Probably not him either. In his current state, he shouldn't even need to use those cameras. Power key's increasing beyond my expectations. It's, a it's almost as if he's an AI that's taken over the simulation. Hey, stop talking about stuff that doesn't make sense. Who's watching those secure surveillance cameras? Got it? They probably only matter to the outside. Outside? You mean in the real world? Do you mean the group that's controlling you and Monokuma? I see the people outside of the island. They're watching the footage captured by the security cameras and... <laughs> Let's just brush that whole thing aside. Um... But I can't say... Hey. I can by crying. That's exactly what Monokuma does. It's just as I thought. I can't trust her at all. What the heck is this? Monami plushies on hangers? Stop it! Don't go touching my things without permission. They're important. Did I see the anime and or play the first game? Uh, I did not see the anime, but I did a full LP of the first game. Which is on my YouTube channel. Link down there. That's wrong! You're wrong, please don't compare me to that thing! <laughs> you don't have enough delicacy. Entering a woman's house without permission and touching her things makes your teacher very sad. Got it? This will not be allowed. Hajime needs a class in morality! That's right! I should give you a special private lesson after school. Miss Monomi will slowly and thoroughly give you a good teaching. That's a yeah. That sounds extremely sexual, Monomi. Please calm down. Ooh. Once again, I've been splattered with salty disgrace. Such a sticky and gooey disgrace. Stop making the jokes for me, Monomi. For fuck's sake. Uh. You're the one who started saying it. Alright. So the bombs aren't in here. Oh, I gotta talk to her about the robbery. Okay. No! Oh, hey. Oh, God. What was my voice for... Do you mean, like, uh, the... Do you mean the Genocide Jack voice or the actual Toko voice? Because both of those are my favorite voices to do. Like, I'd need to, like, listen to it again to get it again, but... Uh, I've been spied with disgrace. Such sticky disgrace. Says I'm about a robber. Are you talking about Monokuma? Mm. Monokuma wouldn't do something as cheap as breaking the lock. Ever since he took my power, he can do anything he wants on his island as long as he wills it. Power? Well, you're always so melodramatic. But if it wasn't Monokuma, does that mean the robber is one of us? <laughs> I'm not doubting my students or anything, but my important thing was definitely stolen. What's your important thing, anyway? <laughs> My treasure box! I don't think any of us would steal Monomi's treasure box. If someone did, why would they steal it in the first place? Um... Can you let me know if you find my treasure? <laughs> oh, oh yes, the golem one, yes! I think that one was more Genocide Jack, but... Yes. The precious Biakia. He loves Toko. Yes! <laughs> ah, it's a bit more... Yeah, I'd have to get more into practice to do it. It's been ages since I've had to do that voice. The precious! Yeah. Because it's the data core for the simulation! Oh no! So did I. I. You know what? You know what? That's only like one of the earliest god prophecies, that one. Like the fact that I kind of gave her that golem voice and it turns out she's a god actually got schizophrenia. Yes, Toko, no, Toko! Toko, no, Toko, yes! yippee ki Uh... Hey! Why'd you suddenly come to the amusement park? It's strange you're walking around alone. Did something happen? Something did happen. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right, I don't have time to waste a place like this. I need to ask you an important question. Do you know where they are? Somewhere on Jabokai Island, Nagito! Hey! Hey! 
Hey! Why, hello there, Monami. Wanna play with your big brother? No, Shadman. Don't, don't loot the platelets. Yes, Shadman, loot the platelets! Monokuma! Huh? What's with your sudden invitation? We've never played before. <laughs> Come on, everyone's busy. You shouldn't interfere. Damn it! So hurry up and come play with me. <laughs> oh god, Shad. Like the thing is though, the thing is though, if Shadman stopped making things that would send him to jail, he's actually a very good artist. Yeah, he did. He did actually promise not to lose them. Like, like um, like there's one image that he's drawn in like the last like while that's like not porn, like at all, and it's actually really good. Um. Please don't pull my ears. I'll leave the rest to you! I'll let you students handle the rest. Do your best! Or is it Fizz ever discussing something important? I guess he really is monitoring us. Now's our time to complain. I should get back to searching for the bombs. I wouldn't waste any more time. I left out of the Monomy house and returned searching for the bombs. Yeah. Hey. Like his like his 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 non-porn stuff is actually pretty good. A lot of his porn stuff, though, will send you to fucking jail. Like, you know, if he, if he would stop, if he would stop sending his 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 people to his his uh, people that watch his art to jail, he might actually like become a mainstream artist. Which I mean, I imagine he probably wouldn't want that. Now that I think about it. I found them. You found them. Damn it! Yeah, shit's in the bones and piled on top of each other. God damn! I didn't expect to find actual bombs. Where'd you find them? Near that stupid factory where the life-size Monokuma plushies are made. Plushie factory, got it! I'll go tell Kazuichi and Akane. Can you tell Sonya and Chiaki? Yeah, got it! Damn it. We'll be in front of the bombs later. In front of the bombs. But that's gonna happen after that. We'll be able to stop them? There's no fun in that. I mean... Thing is, though, like, I want to be able to look at art and go like, Yeah, that's good art! Without the FBI coming. Is the thing. Oh, shit. Alright, All right, so let's go meet Sonya. I cannot fast travel. Fuck's sake. Let me use my teleportation ability. Oh no! Someone turned it off! Someone disabled my teleport. And it's another snake. Well, fuck it. Where's the where's the park? Monokuma Rock. Come on, where's the thing? This and this must be the work of an enemy stand. I can't activate my teleportation. Nani? Kono power. God damn it. Wait, you you would you would go to jail. You'd go to jail immediately. Now that's weird. I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonya. I'm right here. Too bad. Just kidding, it's only me. Yes, indeed. Hajime, you just call Sonya. But nobody came. Because she's already gone to a faraway place. Huh? <laughs> just kidding. You're looking for Sonya. She's walking around near the military base. But why was she on the military base? That's... that's doing me a big concern. That means she wasn't doing her job. If I max hope meter with no despair, it's Usami. When all hope and a few despair, it's Monami. With all despair, it's Monokuma. Well, I'm not fucking with that, because the only way to boost its hope is to fucking dote on it and give it gifts that are better get better given to other people. Fuck them. Fuck that pet shit. 
Man, the music venue is that? It is, it's Chiaki! Chiaki! My, my hands are becoming sore from moving the mouse. Chiaki! Chiaki, I've been looking for you! What happened? What happened? Don't respond so slowly. It's the bombs! We found the bombs! Oh god, that'd be fucking great. That'd be fucking great, Mateo. Are you over to the plushie factory? Hey, you listening? It's no time to space out. Yep. Oh, you're right. The bombs are bad, right? Gotta go to the plushie factory. I'll head over. He's be a little more nervous. Even in a situation like this, he moves at a snail's pace. Hurry over to the final island. Meet up with Sony at the military base. Jock is just like, ah, oh, someone trying to blow up my simulation again. God damn it. Like she calls up Alter Ego on her phone. Dad, they keep blowing up my simulation. It's like the third time. How many Nagidos are you gonna keep putting in here? <laughs> Ten coins worth of present for two hundred coins. Better give it to other people. It's it's like it's like ethers in Final Fantasy. Can't you can't waste them. Where's... Before you go to the plushie factory, I need to meet up with Sonya at the military base. Like, fucking imagine everybody's like all keyed into it, like the problem is solved, they're just not telling Hajime. Sonia! She's like, oh hello Hajime, I've got this tank working. Now I'm going to subjugate you all. Sonia, there she is. What's she doing in a place like this? Sonia, stop trying to fucking get the tank working. So Sonia's digging around the back of that truck. Hey, what are you doing? Oh Hajime, excellent news. I found a gun! She pulls out a fucking bar. <laughs> What you doing, girl? Ah! ah! My! Hajime, please do not startle me. I am concerned. I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode? Anyway, what are you doing here? Why, why aren't you searching the central island? Um... I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now. We found them! Um... Oh, you found Osama Bin Laden? No, we found the bombs. Oh. Well, let me know if you find him as well. No, Ta sorry, sorry, Yuri. Tanya already dictated it's not bu bully. We can't go against what Tanya says. The bombs, obviously. We found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? The bombs are at the factory? It's over at the plushie factory. The others should be already there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? We don't hurry. It'll be too late. You are right. You're right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Nani? I am sorry. It's going to be fine. I'll catch up with you soon. Got it, now start heading over. You can't argue with Tanya, otherwise she will fucking nuke us. Let's send you for now, so head to the plushie factory. Good noon! I'm so... Haj Hajime, I am so confident in the, in the binding power of flex tape that I saw this tank in half! Hi, Nugget! Alright, here it is. And whap. Alright, where's the bombs? Huh? Where's Sonya? I told her about the bombs, she wouldn't listen to me. She had to catch up with us later. Huh? Later, why? Hi, stick. She should know that now isn't time for that, but. Well. Can I go bring her? No! Kazuichi, down boy! Just fuck this spray bottle. Bad boy! Dumbass! Hey, do you really think there's time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right, we need to stop the bombs. Damn it! Alright, let's go. Way the bombs. We sealed our nerves and charged into the factory. Way the bombs.
Where the bombs? Where the bombs? Where the... I have several questions. Why is there a tiny truck in here? The scale of this is all wrong. Nothing much. Doing some dangin' ramps. First thing I noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. Also, if this was the bomb the whole time, then how the fuck was Nagato driving this around and nobody noticed? Truck, why? This is a tiny fucking truck. Like, not even like, like the scale of this is all wrong. Truck part in the middle of the factory. A lot of get dangerous looking objects are loaded onto the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 Those hey, Those things hey, on top hey. of the bed, is that? Damn it. Hey, yo, I don't know how powerful they are. If they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but they're that many, they must be extremely powerful. Yeah, they, yeah, I guess they just used the stock asset. Fuck it. Did he really drive this truck and carry over all these bombs? Damn it. That's the you can just storm these bombs. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Hmm. I thought I could, but it looks like the engine's also acting as the detonator. Damn it, so that's why the engine's still running. The bomb stops so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow, up, will blow off and trigger the explosion. You? Hey, yo. Fuck. I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. I'm fucking up all the voices. Holy shit. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator is put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I could disarm if we can't get this thing open. This is gonna take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost. This is bad. A year noon. Mm. Why don't we just use the tools of the military base? Hey, hey, hey! We don't have time for that. Truck's engines at the detonator, right? There can't can we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. Like full caps been welded on too. I'm gonna do it. All right. Then I'll just drive the truck into the sea. Bastard! For Yahiko, she does, she's not taking it down to fucking drive Miss Daisy, for fuck's sake. Huh? Are you seriously- are, are you seriously- <laughs> Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it! Even that's impossible, there's a chain wrapped around the wheel. We can't disarm the bomb, stall for time or move the truck. There's nothing we can do! Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of that metal box Kazuichi mentioned. Huh? A machine on top of the box? Hmm. Oh, this. This looks like a card reader. Card reader? Hmm. Maybe we can disarm the bomb if we swipe the key card. You serious? Nani? Hmm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagano wouldn't be able to disarm the bombs if he didn't have some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned this song from the start. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Nagano's probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? So... Knowing Nagato, there's ever some kind of theme to, to this, I think. A theme? Hmm. <laughs> At base, it probably would do something messed up like that. I'm gonna kill him. Alright! If only Peko was alive. If only Peko hasn't hadn't killed Mahiru. Fucking, fucking Fuyuhiko would have been like, Oh boy! I sure wish there was something we could do to stop this! Yeah, and he just looks at- he just looks at Peko. And looks back. Then Peko just goes and stabs Nagato 37 times and surrenders herself. Leave it to me! We gotta find that! Nagato was trying to make us do something. It's true, what was he trying to make, make us do this time? Hmm. Okay, so... So in Monokuma's life-size plushies, there's something else in front of me that I can't stop staring at. Was it- what, what was that there the last time I came here? Oh, the laptop. There's a laptop on top of that stopped conveyor belt. That wasn't there the last time I came here, right? How is this? It looks suspicious. Might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden. To be a video started playing. Hello there. Why, hello everyone. Great work. So you really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. Nagido! Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagido. You pissed me off. A video message? If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Hey, bastard. Hey, yo, just hold on. For now, let's just watch this through to the end. Hey, yo, it's me, Jimmy Hashido. Now then. 
Now then, now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. Tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it will disarm the bombs. Okay. Leave it to me! Alright, that's the case, just leave it to me! However... Well... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it looked like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Oh yeah, that looks like my dad's laptop. She just, like, lean, like, Shaki just leans into the laptop and she's just like, Hey, Dad, are you in there? Like, we kind of need your help. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. The traitor's student handbook? Don't tell me! Hey, yo, so that's it. This was also a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, hey! Is there seriously a traitor? There is, you should have come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Yo! Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. You... What if someone besides the traitor uses their handbook? Hey, hey! It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. So with the annoying expression on her face, Yucky walked over the bombs without saying a word, took her handbook out of her pocket, and without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Mm. Looks like I was wrong. See? Who's next? Hey, hey, hey! If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think but so? But they didn't. Hey! I just look, don't act so okay. Fucking shut the fuck up, Kazuichi, and scan your handbook. Anyway. I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. Of course, how can an AI be a traitor? God. I don't think... I don't think the traitor would have swiped the handbook right away like she did. Mm. So what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Hey, hey, hey! Huh? Huh? Well... The engine somehow sounds... <laughs> it's out of gas! What'd you say? Huh? Oh, cause it's noon. <laughs> cause it's noon. Are you kidding me? Nagato super miscalculated. You serious? <laughs> Damn it. Are you serious? Yep, we're all <sighs> dead. Everyone's dead. Huh? Damn it. Are you kidding Swipe me? Swipe your handbooks, you fucks! It is alright! It, it is, is all not a bomb! Oh, fucking, alright then. What is it then? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. It's fucking fireworks. Huh? I mean, fireworks would still kill someone. Um... It looks, it looks like they're fireworks. Fireworks? Always said they're dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly decrease their intensity. And eventually... Oh my! Um, this means... Ah! It wasn't a bomb! Huh? What the heck? I mean, Nagato said... Um... So it's just as I thought. As you thought... Hey, hey! Hey everyone, look over there. The laptop looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagato again? Immediately rushed over to the laptop. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island, let alone five? Even if it were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Man, fuck you, Damn Nagato. It. If it was still fireworks, everyone in that room would be dead. And what was about the bombing detonated at the hotel? Um, Nagato went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me! Is that where he got the bomb? It definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up an island. Nagato was lying about that. So he really did almost kill fucking Kazuichi. You piss me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Hmm. It looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. Why do you have to use a video message? That's the only thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. God. 
Hey, so how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then which is it? I'd make it me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers, and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door? Huh? That's where Nagano is? I won't. This all makes you beat the crap out. Please kill him, Akane. That's right. Every single problem that's every single murder that has happened has been tangentially his fault. Jeez. You bastards, what are you saying? Bastard! You guys can't just beat the shit out of him because I'm gonna be the one who fought to fucking kill him! Hmm. You guys, you're totally flip your lids. God! Don't announce you're gonna kill him, just do it! Now's not the time to be calm, we need to stop them! That is an order! You are right, let us make haste! Kamita did nothing wrong, he did everything wrong. Every single murder is tangentially his fault. And he makes every fucking trial like six times longer. Huh? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna beat the crap out of him! That's only now you feel, but calm down! Wait! Shut up! Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces, he transformed into a look of caution. Akane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's come from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? But listen carefully, I can make out the soft sound come from inside the warehouse. Music. <laughs> hey, yo, what's he playing? This is another one of Nagato's traps? Huh? Maybe then when we open the door, a real bomb is gonna go kaboom! Now then. Alright, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please do not! Akane, it is dangerous! Yo! It's fine, I'll open it slowly. That's not the problem. Leave it to me! Seriously, I'll be fine! Jesus Christ. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? What the fuck? Hey, hey! Yeah. Kick the door in! What? Kick the door! <laughs> Wabap! <laughs> it's gonna be tense their bodies and brace themselves, but... Huh? Yo! Look inside. It sure is. Dark. He blocked the door with the standees. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? Please, I want Kazuichi and Akane. Just fucking tag team him. Then the darkness, a loud, hymnal, a loud hymnal blared through the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? Oh, no, Jesus. I'm not talking about the music. The fuck you, it suddenly started. A fire. Are you ready for a miracle? Ready as I can be. Are you ready for a miracle? Hey, he's fucking just burning it all down. See, why the fuck has Monokuma not blasted him yet. He's broken like six fucking island rules. It's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse, like fiery wings spreading before us. Whoa! What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Hey, hey! But how are we supposed to put this fire out? There should be fire extinguisher supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Damn it. Got it, let's head to the break room. At least in the Sony, we ran into the factory. Break room? Break room! The break room is here, right? Where are the fire extinguishers? There they are. Choose why I've lined up plastic bottles. Looks like there's some kind of liquid Another inside one. them. Those are fire grenades! Fire grenades? Um. They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them in a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside puts out the fire. This is strange, no? But this is strange. The last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguisher supplies too. Hey! Alright. Fucking just throw grenades. Like, Nagato has broken so many rules, Monokuma should be lighting him up with an M60. Um. 
Take care not to inhale the smoke as well. You should throw the grenades in the, from the door at the same time. Damn it! Hey, it looks like there's a curtain in the back is burning up. I'll have to aim for that, right? I'm gonna do it! Alright, fucking throw him. Go! Pokemon! We aim for the curtain in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after the other. Hey, but is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? Joke's on you, it was gasoline, you fucks. The curtain absorbed the impact of the throwing grenades which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling. Well, let's walk away. This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. Walk away. What are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain. Walk away. Don't be stupid. There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it. And it rains. And it rains. It's raining? Because of sprinklers. So this is the power of the Japanese Terra Terra Bozu. What the fuck is a Terra Terra Bozu? That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Man, it took them long enough. I want to walk inside and find Nagato's burned out corpse. Water can vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. After a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. Please let Nagato's corpse be just in the back. Um, that is a relief. Damn it! The hell! <gasps> Man, my merch is drenched. It got splattered with water and now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. Is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Uh, time out, time out. No, you can't. Nah, no way. Why can't we go inside? Hey. Smoke um... and hazardous gases are spread throughout the warehouse. Gotta ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So... So for the sake of yourself, please wait for a little while. While you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater I freshly prepared? Oh, please no. You're so stupid! Everything's a lie! Oh, for real? That's a real thing? Jesus. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. There's no relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway? Simulation. Simulation. Yes, indeed! Yep, now the Monokuma Theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Phew! Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on! Why are your eyes on the front? I got so it! So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Um... We get it already, shut your fucking mouth. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you. Hooray. Awesome. Uh, turn on the light for you guys too. You might hurt yourself if it's dark. Here. Go, ahead, go right ahead. Please let Nagato's corpse be in there. Hmm. Huh. Please hey, let hey. his dead body just be in yeah. there. Please. Please don't feel anxious. Please. The charred odor permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. It smells. Mm, something smells. Hey, hey! It's not me. I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. You serious? She farted. Mm. No, no, that's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like. He says there are strange smells, and a bunch of different things are burned. Hey, hey! Hey, everyone, did you know about that curtain? The curtain's on fire, right? What do you mean, no? See? I didn't notice that the curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it, too. My lower Chiaki was pointing. There was still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. Please let me Nagato's corpse. As I walked towards the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps, there was an impressive atmosphere for it, and I couldn't help holding my breath. On the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice I've been feeling. Y 
Yes! Yes! That wasn't, that's not a murder. That right there is not a murder, that's a public fucking service. Clearly a suicide. Monokuma, that's a suicide, right? Yep. Yep, totally a suicide. Fucking finally, holy shit. By the time I realized what I was looking at the remains of Nagato Kameda, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. Now that, no, that's not a murder, that's, that's modern art right there. Like Monokuma just reading through a book. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread to the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagato is dead! Yes! Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. Huh? Eh? <laughs> what? Ah! Ah! What? Hey, yo, what's going on here? Someone beat me to it! Are you is he really serious? dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagato, you know? That's right, it's Nagato. He always messed with us, he always tried to confuse us, that's why. I can't believe it! My prayers were answered! Nagato ended up in such a cruel state, and none of us got to watch. God damn it! Nagato is dead. Deep down, I believed that when the killings finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. And your wishes were granted, my dude. Never expected to be looking at Nagato's body like this. Nagato probably felt the same thing. Couldn't have seen in his dead, frightened face. Bone is silent, unbelievably, un unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagato couldn't escape that truth. But something as smell, something as small as that. Hey, Stato. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. So, we all know that, like, the actual killer is gonna come out of nowhere, is gonna have no rhyme nor reason, right? Like, we all know, like, that we're gonna get- we're gonna get to it, and it'll be like... Like, oh yeah, no, I killed him! I killed him! Yep! Yeah, just did it! No reason why, I just- just did it! Kinda happened. Like, in fact, it's probably gonna be, like, the one person who didn't want him dead. Which would be either Sonya or Chiaki. Everyone else was ready to fucking pop him. Don't tell me. So like, like it, it's gonna be like one of the one of those. Well, I'm just saying, like that that's the theme so far. The only people who have done killings are the people who have had zero fucking motivation to do so. Like fucking Gundam, Gundam turning around and murdering Nekumaru came out of nowhere, no fucking reasoning. Fucking Teru Teru killing Byakia. No fucking reasoning out of nowhere. Mikan killing Ibuki and fucking whatchamacallit. And Hyoko. Out of nowhere. So, following the trend, it's gonna be Sonya or Chiaki because they're the only people that didn't express a desire to murder the fuck out of Nagido. Uh, not right now. Hey! And Nagato's really dead. Damn it! Not just he's dead, if the body discovery announcement was made, doesn't mean Nagato was killed? Nani? That's right! Plus, it's one of us! I mean, that's what that means, right? Oh god, if the culprit was Nagato, he tied himself up, stabbed himself through the hand, and then stabbed the shit out of his thighs and arm. Uh. One of us killed him so brutally? <sighs> then it's gonna start again? Nani? The class trial's gonna start soon, right? Then... Of course! Yeah, we gotta do it. We gotta find out who's Nagato's killer is. Hey! No hey! matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Shing! And the time for actions now. So allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma fa- Way! Oh, they're right there! Damn it! Don't get in my way like that. I just had to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way. You stupid brother! I can't stand this anymore! Got it? How much longer are you gonna keep putting them through this? No more, I won't let you! I'll make sure I pulverize your evil intentions! Hey, hey. Say something. What's this? I don't remember who you are. You're Monami. 
You just now noticed? Lies. Wait, Mono, if you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't we talk about yours first? <laughs> what are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know. <laughs> what, no fair? You're shutting up too. Please wait. Enough already. We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagato. Please do not say anything else that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Hmm? But, this is just... I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? So we've got no choice but to do it, right? Besides our fault, we couldn't even prevent it. Uh, I know, it's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! But you kids are way more well-behaved than Monami. Don't fuck with hey, me! Hey, yo, don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know! That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time! This is kind of Does that mean depressing. you guys are getting bored of the school trip? Actually... No, wait, the end is near. The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig is about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? <laughs> Meaning behind the Monokuma timer? You guys are only two days left, huh? I was wondering what the fuck that is. Uh, when that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? Uh, the killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey! It's finally be over. You serious? Let me we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched, or something you gotta do before that, right? So... So once again... It's the Monokuma file! You guys need to find out who Nagato's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, we won't be an afterward at all. Do your best. Wait! Hold on! I won't forgive you! Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly an end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? But still... Kazuichi, I understand how you feel. We know we need to focus on Nagato first. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Alright! And let's hurry up and solve Nagato's case. We can all go home! However... It's nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There's a killer amongst us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel? It wasn't just that, there's something more to it than that. Whatever it was just stuck with me. Yeah, it's just kind of ridiculous though, because everyone was, everyone was, like, they, like, they would have had to have killed Nagito, like, 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 way in advance. The victim is Nagato Kameda. His body was discovered inside the warehouse near Monokuma Plushie Factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Yeah, so he wouldn't, he, like, so... No, no, fuck you. Actually, fuck you. Because there's no way that would work. Because every, at noon sharp, everyone was at the fucking bombs. Notice there are spear stabs through his stomach. There are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Huh? Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Again, but what's wrong with it? Bombs went off- yeah, but, like, the bombs went off early, but then everyone was fucking trying to put out the fire. Doesn't make any sense. Like, everyone- like, nobody was out of my sight. Not only is there a spear stabbed in his stomach, but there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration in his left arm and a knife in field in his right hand. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely weird. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation's for. Who got there? Like, the only person who would've got there late is Sonya. But, like... But she was there when the bombs went off early. It's just gonna be one of those ones where just someone comes out of nowhere and be like, Yeah, I did it. Joke's on you. Don't worry about formal conclusions. You don't worry your formal conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. Mm. We can discuss it later. Right now, our only chance to investigate. We can investigate first. See? We don't. There won't be anything for us to discuss. I guess you're right. Let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. We should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the wilder, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks, that, I can probably investigate Nagato's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagato's body. Probably didn't expect to end up like this either. 
deserved it, though. Fucking deserved it. It's fair. Monokuma's dead! There's blood coming out of his stomach! Hey. No response, he's dead, Jim. Yeah. Just kidding, I'm not dead! Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced at the factory? Yeah. You're mistaking a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal. Hey. Don't put oversized garbage there, it's so misleading! What the heck?! Ooh. Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Why'd he do it? Making a hole like he got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? Did he try to imitate Nagato's body or something? What are you I had saying? nothing to do with that. You're so you be lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. What's this? You seem more pissed than usual these days, Monami, but you better watch what you say. <laughs> if you feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I... I won't give in to your threats. I'll fight you to the very end. I can't lose. I will definitely take back the seat of world supremacy from Monokuma. Alright, neat. Alright, what about this bear? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagato blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, Nagato! Never expect Nagato to die like this. He's always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. Hey, maybe this trial will be decently short. He's so dying like this is just not cruel enough. Also, he wasn't completely useless. There were times when we were only able to reach the truth because of him. Bullshit. But everything good and bad about him is gone. Mostly the bad. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. He never saved anyone. No, now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about his body that catches my eye. Face. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this to keep Nagato from screaming for help? This is bad. He's got a horrible look on his face. The blood spattered all over it doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise I wouldn't be able to look at him. Mm. Hey, any, I got a minute. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Chucky moved past, Chucky moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagato's face. In one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. What are you doing? It's gonna be It'll be fine. fine, I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating. Hey, hey, hey! Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine, you're gonna get cursed! Hmm... Ah, uh, so the blood on Nagato's face looks like it was mostly came from the slice on his left arm. If that's the case... Man... It's no use, she's not listening. Hey, hey! about the blood splattered on his face? There's no blood underneath under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well... His duct tape has crinkles like it was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagato is probably desperately moving his mouth under the tape. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Which means Nagato's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds on his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. What's wrong with that? Something we really need to know about? <sighs> hmm. Yep. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue too. I should remember it. Interesting. So the tape was put on his mouth... after. But there's no blood on the tape. Oh, no, there is blood on the tape. In this version, at least. Yeah, stab, yeah, stab through the chest. Yeah, so he was, so he was probably stabbed through the chest after he was dead. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. Probably the reason the wound his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. But regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound. There's blood everywhere. Ah, uh, there's something strange. Strange? What? See? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think the blood is from where his left arm was sliced, but... Doesn't the blood spatter look strange? It cut off right near the middle of his palm. It definitely cuts off. Maybe that's suppose the blood could reach when it's splat- No, that's not how this works, Hajime, you dingus. Um, but I would explain the blood in his palm, but... Um, when you flip it over and look at the back of his hand... Well? There's blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. Hmm. See? So just as I said, right? It's strange, right? Hmm. I win! Yeah, sure, you win. Oh, boy. Of course Nagato's corpse is gonna be the one that's got the most bullshit with it. Yeah. He was holding something, but also on the back of his hand, too, there was something. The knife is stabbed through Nagato's right hand! Did the killer do this? How did they do something so cruel? Um... This knife must be from the military base. Military base. I know you mentioned it, you're right, it looks like a survival knife. 
Well? By the way, it seems that Winston's legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. When he died of the killer was finished stabbing Nago's left and legs and left arm. They stabbed the knife through his right hand? It cannot be! And then they finished him off with the spear. How cruel! How cruel! Does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? Jesus Christ. Alright, fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Oh, look, we've been impaled. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, clearly, this was a suicide. Clearly. I've never seen a mo I've never seen a more open and shut case of suicide in my life. Stabbed himself 37 times in each thigh, slashed up his arm, and stabbed himself in the hand while tying himself up and jabbing himself with a spear. Damn shame. Damn shame. Fine police work, Johnson. Sprinkle some crack on him and let's get out of here. They're gonna just kill him by stabbing him with a knife. Why do they need to use the spear at all? You are right. Maybe Nagato was a vampire. What if Nagato was a vampire? The only way to stop him from coming back to life is to impale him. Is there a reason they had to use it? It's because Nagato is a vampire. You remove that spear, he'll get back up! Both the Nagato's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't be able to move at all. Go to his monokuma file. His wounds and his legs are all stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagato? They also stabbed his legs? Why did the killer do something like that? It's because Nagato was a vampire the whole time. It's the only thing that makes sense. At any rate, he'd be- that's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge toward him. Or he might have been tortured. He did say he wanted to be tortured. Huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? You disregard the spear in his chest, the other wounds are inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nagato's body were from the killer torturing him? If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nagato confess? Was something that would lead to the traitor? Even so. Hey, you're worthy and this was torture. There's no doubt that the killer must have held a deep grudge toward Nagato. Damn it! Refuse and let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. I just wish I'd been the one to do it. God damn it. But even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? Didn't go far enough. They should have fed him into a wood chipper. He just fed his ass into a wood chipper. The spear with the flashy ornament on it is impaled deeply inside Nagato's stomach. Mm. There's no way around it, that looks like the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, what's this? It's a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it. Phew! Oh, I see, you used the wood. That's, that's how they killed him without... Hmm. Yes, I'm kidding about the vampire thing. That's how they, that's how they fudged the time of death to everyone being present. That, that, that spear was tied around something. And then when the fire came out, then the fire happens, it released the spear. This is your first time looking at this too? Of course not, it's this is very gun gear, right? Definitely just came up with that right now. Hey! By the way, I wanted to ask you, where'd that spear come from? Mm -hmm. I feel like I saw it in Izumi Castle. What? In Izumi Castle! What the I was designed hell? to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> damn you mice! Damn you all to hell! As a spear of gun gear, so the exact same things that killed fake Junko. More importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle looks like that part has blood on it too. So they beat him with it. About the size of a human fist, it's strange that the section of cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Chiyag mentioned this earlier, but it reminds me of a spear type from the Zumi Castle. It might be better to confirm it later. Intern fist. Is 
the rope. Nago's right wrist was tied up with rope. It looks like the tip of that rope is burned off. Could this be the result of the fire? But that's weird. The rope is burned off like this. Why are Nago's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Burnt rope has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Guess I'm done with Terry surrounding Nago's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself, does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me, and I, one of my peers is the killer responsible. I have to investigate this death so I can find the killer. Or it's more like you don't care that the, this guy is dead because he's a prick. Uh, no, that. <laughs> God damn it. Then we got the. Got a lighter. This is an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It looks like the fire did extensive damage. The oil lighter was placed here. Just kidding. An oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. Bring it on. It's a most foolish thought. It's clearly the cause of the fire. Well? Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter, do you think the killer set some kind of trick with it? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. It caused a fire to destroy evidence. It's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set fire to the crime scene, but... But why would they not set... Why would they set fire to the part that Nagato was not in? That would be dumb. It's like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of the plastic are scattered all over the place. Probably... The fire bottles. I have no idea. The blood's always been pink, and I don't get why. They weren't actually that useful in the end. The fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, the evidence really isn't all that strange. I think it's all the physical evidence. Um... It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mikan's, but it looks like there's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What does it matter? So... The time! Looks like the time doesn't matter! It's clearly written in the Monokuma file, the time of death was noon sharp. If it was at noon, then what were we doing at that time? Hmm. What we're doing right now, it's... It's time! It's 12.30 p.m. It also has a clock from... Well, no shit, Hajime! Um... And that means Nagato died 30 minutes ago. Huh? Hmm. It happened 30 minutes ago. It was around that time we were struggling with the bombs. The fake bombs are really supposed to explode at noon. All right. He's ripped it does have an alibi for the time. Is Nagato's killer? Hmm. That could be like when Nekamaru died. The killer could have also used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so we would have needed time to prepare. All right. It does this have an alibi before we found the bombs. It's suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we saw split up to search for the bombs. That's the problem. Oh shit. Like not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Huh? That's obviously wrong. That's not Well yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey! Shut up! Shut up! Damn it! Uh, uh I, we don't care this this is irrelevant! I know. You. Great! So talking to you is a waste of time. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm scared now. Fuyuhiko found the bombs first. Fuyuhiko found the bombs first. But Sonia wasn't where she was supposed to be. She was in the she was in the military base. So honestly, I think it's gonna be one of those times where it's gonna be like the only the person who was Like the, per the person, the person who doesn't want him dead is probably going to be the killer. If only because that's the that's been the that's been the trend so far. This is just a deep thought while staring at the ceiling. What happens? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yep. Yeah, by that sprinkler. This is one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well, you can see a girder right next to it, right there. See? Can you see the red? Why the fuck is there blood there? You're right, I definitely see it. 
by a small red line on the ceiling girder. Perhaps. Is that blood? So that's where the spear was tied up. Blood! The color definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there. No, they tied up the spear as a time delay. Plus, it's in a straight line. Hmm. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. Just remember this. Yeah, they, they, tied up the, they tied up the spear so it would drop when the time comes. Then I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagato. There should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone to the trouble of trying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Yeah, Akane would have just beat him to death. Kazuichi... Kazuichi's a bitch. Um... Fuyuhiko, I think... I think Fuyuhiko would have just made... Wouldn't have done it just messily, because he's a Yakuza. Um... I could see Sonya doing this, because she had access to the military base more so than others. And Chiaki just because of the joke. Just because of the joke that I've been making non-stop. Like, every time Nagano opens his mouth in the child, Chiaki just pulls out a gun and blasts him. Not just that, there's no reason I inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate the other areas to figure that out. Alright, I should try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse. Yep, they knocked over all the Monokumas to start the fire. Yeah, they, they're kicking the door open, knocks over the Monokumas, makes a domino line, makes the oil li the oil lighter fall over, catches the tarp curtain on fire. Why are they scattered like this? Last night I came, they were in the call. They should all be neatly put away. Hmm. Maybe we're the ones who made the mess. Nani? See? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... Fine, I'll open this slowly. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. And there's a trap. Seriously, stop it! Uh, she kicks the door open, knocks it over, and everything catches fire. Could it, could it be? Was that no? it? And there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey! Those Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance back of the warehouse, right? They'd be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Where the other tipped over panels, this line is the only one that's neat and orderly. So... Isn't it clearly strange? That means, because basically this was done intentionally. Yeah, they dominoed it. MP3 player... This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. Why is this here? Maybe. It looks like that weird music was playing from here. Hmm. You know, this music was blaring when the fire started? Yeah, you're right. It looks like it's bust from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistake, that music was playing from the MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music? Hmm. It'll come out that it was Junko. Junko appears. He's like, I was here the whole time. Aha! Right. Chiaki, explain. Mm. Looks like this side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Who knows there's an important clue here? We might not even be able to notice it. But it's better the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out the fire. Hey, hey. There's a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did, we wouldn't have been caught up by the sprinklers and come all wet and soggy. <laughs> God damn it, Monokuma. Hey, hey. You were thinking that, huh? Of course not. Say what? Are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. Whoa. Yes. Oh, my screwing? How lewd. Hey, hey, hey! Please don't look at me with feel fearful eyes. I only imagined it for a second. Guys, would you want to just keep your mouth shut forever? Christ. Alright, Fuyi Hiko, anything? Jeez. We'll You're think about the bad. countdown after we lift it. I don't care about the fucking countdown, Fuyi Hiko. Shit. Next time you're supposed to investigate in the warehouse, which reminds me, it's something I need to ask her about. Now we pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body. I think it's an at talk to her. Hey, Sonya, do you have a minute? Um. 
Yes, what is it? I want to ask you about that fake bomb Nagda was set in the warehouse. Huh? Harvey Bart exploded. You said something like this, right? It's alright, it's not a bomb. Why did you know the bombs were a fake? Um... Um, well... That's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs... Why were you at the military bay? She was... Yeah. She was torturing him. She was trying... She was torturing him using good old-fashioned old country techniques to try and... to try and get everything working. But the killing was an accident. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you, and what were you doing during that time? Oh my! Oh, oh my! It cannot be! Do you be. suspect me? It's a misunderstanding. I am not the killer! Jesus, shit, you son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. Huh. Art. Remember, Satsu, I didn't say... I didn't say she killed him. I said she tortured him, which could mean the killing was an accident. Like I said, I'm just going by what the evidence points towards. As we all know, when we get into the fucking trial, it's just going to come out of nowhere and Chiaki will be like, It was me, I was the killer the whole time! And she puts on a fucking Monokuma mask. It's gonna be something stupid like that. I am sorry! I am terribly sorry, I was panicking. Um... I shall calm down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I accepted a vast amount of bombs there. Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons, so I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean you heard Nagato planted bombs? You got suspicious and went to investigate them? That is. And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered? Please listen! And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagato brought from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. How did you find out the bombs in the military base were fake? Um. Because I attempted to use one of them. And he, I see. I thought I one see. of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought that I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. However, However that, that plan, plan was, was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. Fucking Monomies just sound like, oh shit. God damn it, all to hell. I imagine in Japanese, that's like the fucking raddest English you can find. I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Which means... If those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean that Nagato took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. But I did think it was strange when Nagato blew up the hotel lobby. That bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. Oh my god! But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagato's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe the bombs he said were real as well. If so, the Nagato's actions were extremely calculated. The problem is his reason for doing it. Um... With this, I have explained everything. Do you have a there minute? There's no more reason for you to. D I'm going to doubt you all the way to the bank, but then I'm going to be proven wrong anyway because this game loves throwing bullshit out of nowhere. You're right, I got it. Sony's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your sandbook. All right, perfect match for the clues inside the warehouse. We're to find some clues, but there's still so many things I don't understand. Hold it. Your luck, Warren. Yes, I am. Well. At a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. It's good to investigate other places as well. But you might be right, there are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base son you mentioned, the plushie factory next door, the Zumi castle with spirits you came from. Yes, yes, then that will, that will be the case. And Nagato's room. If I'm gonna understand the reason for his actions, I need to know more about him. Um, I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Can you hear me? Hey, you guys, is it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas, too? I am mad the scientist, son of a bitch. There's no shock the others gathered around her. You know why the dub of Steins Gate is worse? Because in the English dub, he speaks jive, which turns that from him trying to speak to an American 
Just speaking to- just, just speaking like a fucking racist. Excuse me, stewardess, I speak jive. I see, I see. Huh? Yep. We don't have a choice, there aren't enough of us. Besides, we've all investigated all we can. Ah, uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, those said the clothes they found aren't enough to piece this incident together. We need to search for them in other areas, probably. Hmm. And alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas either, we'll have to give up completely. You don't have to say that. Hey, hey! It's okay, we leave this place? Yeah. It's okay? There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way to accept to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagato's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. What if, like, you had someone here who's, like, the ultimate fortune teller, but they were 100% right all the time? Like, every day, they could just be like, Okay, guys, the, the person who's going to kill next is going to be... Gundam! Gundam, you're gonna be the next killer. And you're gonna kill Nekumaru. Like, just like fucking, like, that would completely fuck this game over if someone, if you had someone who was like actual clairvoyant. Like, instead of just a, sh a, f a sham, like, fucking Yasuhiro. Well, yeah, I know they could, but you'd have to, but then, like, the only, the only person who would actually be able to do anything would be the fortune teller. The fortune teller would be able to see their death coming and go... All right, I'm gonna be killed by Sayaka. Okay. Hey guys, Sayaka's gonna kill me. Tie her up and throw her in the fucking rumpus room. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Well, shit. That reminds me, we saw Nagato's video message on the Luth's laptop. Okay. At the time, Nagato should have been already killed, which means the video was recorded in advance. That's right, besides that video, there might be data on this laptop that uses a clue. That thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use, it's locked. There's no way I can examine this. If it's locked, then maybe there's something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Chiyake! Okay, no clues there. Manufacturing equipment? Ah, yes, I gotta speak with you. My! I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. But Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However, oh, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb that went off in the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Nani? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it'd make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group is forced us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism! All right. Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly mess around with it? Easy as pie! But why? Enough already! Hey, but let me um, just pick me up. See, all you'll feel is a soft weight of cotton. I see. However... And where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. Hmm. I'm gonna give you guys a hint, though. You should know that he wasn't from the military base. What? Hey, Trude, the bombs are here are all fakes. Please wait. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. No. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it'd be foreshadowed that killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Ooh, I feel relieved. The bomb wasn't from the military base of this factory, then. We brought it from the octagon. Well... Must be a good eye there, Sonya. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it! That is... Yeah, you did. And he's already done it, though. He did it in the first game. Uh, I did not see the good doctor. I did not. Outside. Alright, so... Military base. Alright, so... Uh, 
Alright, Kazumichi, you dingus. Man. Damn, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey! Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. Please say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. Huge white guns and other firearms are stuffed into the truck bed. Whoa! What'd you find? That truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival knife? Wait, that's... The same knife that was in his hand. Maybe... Which means the killer obtained that knife here. All right. The killer is someone who visited his military base at least once. That's everyone, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the first time I've been here. That sounds really fishy, my dude. Holy shit. Bombs are fake, this might be fake too, but I'm not brave enough to check for myself. Coward. When I tried looking in the truck bed, it's empty, nothing's here. When I first came in, there's something on the truck bed, which means Sony was telling the truth. However... These, these games do happen in the same universe. As I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. Though they searched for them in the base, blah, blah, blah. But did Nagato know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. And I'm like, he says much in his video message. <laughs> he knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. Though, is that really it? Did Nagato only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there's a different motive behind his actions. Oh, hey, there's a Monokuma. Hooray! I knew you could do it! Hooray! Yeah, there's nothing here. Great! Oh. So, Izumi Castle is gonna be the like the other main place. All right, give me that spear. Give me the speed. And yep, one of the spears is missing. The spear with the fancy ornament is hanging from the wall. The spear is definitely it, right? I see. Hey, yo, just as I thought. Looks exactly like the ki spear that killed Nagido. The same whip like cards attached to the handle, and there's a way to the end of it. Also. Plus, it looks like one of those spears on the wall is missing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through that same thing right now. My AC should be glowing, but it's not. It's getting really fucking warm in here. There's no mistake, the kill took one of those spears used as a weapon. Spear of a gun gear, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. Why did the killer use the spear and a knife? Well, yeah. They could just kill him with a knife, but it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this with an unnecessary cord thing would be easy to use. It definitely looks hard to wield. But so, how they chose the spear for a reason. What could that be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. It's really why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling I've never felt before. As if Nagato is trying to make us suffer, even after. Yeah, Nagato would do that. But now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated this cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. Jesus. Thing it, thing is, I can't even take my shirt off because that, because fucking, I'm I'm live on Twitch. The joke about male nipples is true, but by God, that probably would be a bad idea. Also, you'd see my fat, my fat titties. Hi, hi, Chiaki. Hajime. I. I don't- I- I say- I say nothing for or against, it just kinda sounds like a fucking silly thing. What's this? Oh my, you wanna go inside Nagato's room too? What are you gonna I do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. Just me unlocked the door to Nagato's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. 
she begged me to do while I, she was licking my black eye. I didn't do that. Boy, I didn't do it. It's sweet because it's made out of black bean paste. And we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine, fine. Now, ba 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 loose. Bye bye. Me. Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized. Hey, hey. No point. Let's go inside now. The door is open. Yeah, you're right. Jesus. Oh! Well! He stole he stole Monami's box. What's he thinking inside this room? What's he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanna see the absolute hope becoming despair so he could access stepping stone? No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. It really was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue that might be hidden here as well. That. No. God damn it. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Who this be? Masaka. That treasure box. Chucky, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, then that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagito. Why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. The data clue. Jesus. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagato wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. Can we steal it? What? <laughs> inside there was a notebook. Is this it? Why is there a notebook inside the treasure box like it's something important? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leaping through it. It contained sloppy drawings as they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. What? Day one. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Byakuya is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. Is this a diary? It's her fucking diary. Um, Looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. Their pictures and entries totally suit her. Get yeah, flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand it, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. I might as well have to give up. My hands are still from the diary titled Day 16. We've been in Funhouse for three days! Everyone's hungry and on edge! Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Huh? Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Don't look at my notebook! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took my notebook took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive oh, you! I did ask you to look at my treasure box. I never said you're allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. If any company cl later, I would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you're a little too late. Huh? But this notebook is here. Um... The Nagato was the thief? No! Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student! Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook is pretty much your diary, right? Hmm? Diary? Um... Seems that way. Ta-da! That's right, it's my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey! Hey, hey, you're a liar! Ooh, uh... Jesus Christ. Bonami, it's not good to lie, you know. Lie? There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah! Well, Monami can't even write. Wait, what? That's wrong. Phew. Well, I. Because they have no fingers, really. Hey, hey. Your sister trying to crush me. What are you saying? No way, a big brother ever crushes little sister. Looks like the time cell thing's tweet is getting closer every second. I don't know why you're getting so serious, but was, was the Monokuma said true? Hmm? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? So who wrote in it? Um... Bye-bye. God fucking damn it. Yep. It's the same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time trying to get answers from her. But I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better I didn't ask her. Well, okay, I don't know how that's going to come up, but fair enough. Fair enough. 
Oh, is there something left? Huh? Nice, my car doesn't have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Nogator probably supplied it himself. Hmm. Why did he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? If I told you if you open the refrigerator, curiosity. There isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Hmm. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like he stopped very much. That bottle clearly isn't a drink, right? Looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder? It says Monokuma Special Poison on it. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Could it be? Yeah, it looks like it's poison. Ah. Looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in more detail. But be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. If you worry like that, I'm gonna get nervous. Grab the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma Special Poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. In a gaseous state, it's heavier than air, it breaks down in minutes, and is susceptible to hydrolysis. Hydrolysis, sorry. So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secured by storing it in a cold place in a gas or in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Jesus. Mm. It sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. The refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagato get something like this? Well? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel as well. He has got it in the octagon. Perhaps. He's probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class. Yeah. <sighs> what a what a fucking lad. Holy shit. Like, what would he have done if someone actually tripped and broke the bottle? Think about it, it scares me. Hey, hey. Oh, so he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. What about the poison? See? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like that from the beginning? Or did Nagato use it? So where did, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Fuck's sake, Nagato. Perhaps. He was making some kind of trap using the poison before he died. That actually exists. It's real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone on the island? What the hell? Nagato, are you still trying to make us suffer? You're still trying to make us suffer even after you died, you bastard! Yeah, that could explain if he poisoned himself. Classic suicide! Yeah, I'm, I just stopped. I'm just stopped trying. Hey, hey! Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's the usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Where's Nagato's porn? Oh god, he's been making meth! Gas mask and rubber gloves. He's hiding these under his bed. What did Nagano use this stuff for? I know, he fucking... I don't... I honestly, I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna make my joke guess, and if it turns out to be right, then it turns out to be right. Fuck it. Is there anything else under the bed? A small piece of paper on the floor. Made of blue aluminium. Mm. Round thin piece of aluminium, huh? Ten of those go with the jars of unopened mayonnaise. Does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. Who knows? Might be too soon to decide that. Hmm. Neat. Oh. This bookshelf? Well? They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects the person's heart. God damn it. Do they do it now? Mm. I really don't know much about Nagato by looking at this. So it should do now. It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm. That doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Mm. It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff there. See? So I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I'll just go portray to do this without realizing it. Alright, well, what's he got? He's examining them carefully. There's still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Found it! Got it! Alright, re flip through it. Flip through it, my dude. Oh. Nagato said this only contained information about me, but is that really true? 
But I look at this, it should be obvious, right? He said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I opened the file had in my hand and confirmed that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, then why is this file so thick? As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought Nagato had lied. Tried for my information, there's information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone who died had pages of information about them, too. The files contain information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe you make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie, too. I turned the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height and weight, and so forth. There's one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words reserve course student. There's no denying it. I confirmed I really was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Why am I the only one here is from the reserve department? Why am I here? Oh god, yo! Hey, hey! Hajime, did something happen? Did your entire world just drop out from underneath you? Oh, well, I just found a strange file. <gasps> Isn't that a special prize Nagato received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are in here, too. Nagato was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Ducky leaned against me and peered into the file. You're right. You're right, my profile, my profile is, in is really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say, like, what language I'm programmed in. I mean... Shit! Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. So that means, uh, you know, it's it's less than useless. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah. Worthless, then. Seems like it. Uh, hold on. Huh? What happened? I just noticed it right now, but... What? The file. His name isn't in there, right? Whose name? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles. But his name is the only one is missing, Biakia right? Is Biakia missing because it, it, it wasn't the real Biakia? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Is it Biakia? Biakia. Yes! Biakia Togami. God do prophecy! Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written on that file? Perhaps based on that, you think he might be the traitor? Now, it's not just because of his name is written in here. That's not the only reason I think it's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life of the Hope's Peak Academy. For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, is definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well, that pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life... Too bad! It's totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. Different reason? You're getting all Actually, wild this, up. You guys have been getting all worked up on that Biakia for no reason. Which means the great mystery you think about that Biakia doesn't exist. Basically on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the heck? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer if you're looking through the profiles, right? My eyes turned back to the file, and one by one I flipped through the pages confirming the names. And suddenly I came with Ultimate Imposter! What back? Every section was filled with question marks and could be barely considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter! What back? God prophecy! That's that Biakia's true identity. He was a fake that pretended to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Biakia Togami. Um... The fact his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent! Although I'm not jealous of that at all. Fucking... Fucking got him. That person wasn't really Biaki Togami? Perhaps. That way he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in killing school... The killing school life? So cool! His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. 
And he really was lying to us the whole time. But still... But he couldn't help it. Why couldn't he help it? Oh... Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, the way your life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not... <laughs> in that case, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a little bit more liberating. What the hell? Anyway... Anyway... I'm not happy you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Yaki is exactly the truth. Then... What was he trying to say, say to me at that time? Well, I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being trusted into turn, for a long time, that alone has made my life a living hell. Yeah. English is hard. Based on that context, if I had to guess, no, maybe no. he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> if you guys had your school memories, you never would have betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys are in the Hosting Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, all these back to memory loss. Phew. Jeez, the future foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monami or the traitor. Who is the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the future foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Could it be? Just as I thought, you're the one who did it. Hey, um... Right, your 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor's a spy sent by the future foundation, not a student from Hostwick Academy. Correct! Jesus Christ. Hey, hey! Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagato too, right? Hmm. Oh, probably. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Driven with despair, isn't it? You're wasting your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure? Is that a wise this? decision? Time's up, you know. Bye bye. Yep. Ding dong, bang bong. Ding dong, bang bong. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is well, nothing regardless, more the trial is happening next stream than wasting out of time, time. So, so time's up. We will begin the last class trial. Oh boy! So please gather at Oh Monica boy, we might be ending the video game soon. <laughs> I'll see you soon. We may be ending the video game. You said that, right? It said last class trial. Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. It really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um. Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? A few more days. It says something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, that must definitely be the last one. But still... But I can't imagine this is the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Monokuma's real plan to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once! Well... But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. If you hit the follow... If you hit the follow button, you'll get an email. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right! Class trial for Nagato's murder. We're pretty screwed! We're, we're fucking boner owned! I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagato. But still... Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know. You're right, you're absolutely right. We're not alone! Either this is a mystery can't be solved alone. As long as everyone cooperates and works together. Even if we do that, things will turn out fine. Yeah! Alright. Let's, uh, get to the save point. Wait, what? What? I'm- I'm confused. What do you mean, Ben? What do you- what do you mean? Where's the fucking mountain? Jesus Christ. Like, I kind of wish that, like, it was set up like the academy in the first game where you just wander around, you can fast travel to multiple places on the floor. 
It feels like the game's just like, no, you have to run around like a dingus. Fuck you. Damn right. Hey, yo, looks like everyone's here. Huh? This is it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. Stop it. You're making me depressed. Stupid fool. God damn it. Um. So it's going to happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through this, we can go back, right? That's right. That Monokuma bastard. Uh, that was the fast run button. That Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this was the last class trial. Damn it. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that easily. Of course not. Why don't you believe it? The guy who's making us do this is the one saying it, you know? That gives him less of a reason to tell the truth, Kazurichi, you fucking dink. You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. We go home after we deal with this class trial. That's right! I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what, even if I have to pull out all the stops. You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking like that was Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse! <laughs> Stop trying to jinx us! God, Kazuichi, are you fucking retarded? Like, does Kazuichi just like... Like, is he just, is he just brain damaged? I'll beat you up! Damn right, stupid rabbits, just shut up! Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. Huh? I finally realized after losing my powers, I realized that cursing your powerlessness or your, fa or your fate accomplishes nothing. The possibility may be small, but as long as there is a possibility, you must face it. In order to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight! Huh? Okay? What? What's her deal? Um... I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> maybe, maybe she read a... Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait! Gotta have the hope! But eyes, she seems so determined. You... How can you tell you looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if you started talking during the trial. <laughs> oh, fine. But still... Somehow I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Fuck it. Straight up. Straight the fuck up, Ramanish. Like, holy shit. Like, the same thing happened in the first game. Yasuhiro fucking should have died. Anyway, let's get going to the last class trial. Yeah. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Welcome to Dangan Ramps. Welcome to the Dangan Ramp. God, that animation looks so fucking awful. Holy shit. Farewell, Monokuma! Yeah. There's so few people. This elevator ride's to be the last time for this, too, right? I hope so. Well? Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Damn it. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is gonna go smoothly. I mean, I can't believe one of us was even able to do that. Um... Nagito was problematic in many ways. But he was also a valuable asset during the trials when he wasn't opening his fucking mouth for no reason. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. Well, yeah, because fucking, like, I wasn't allowed to go into the fucking final dead room for no reason. But even if he's gone, there's those who survived and need to stand and fight. We must fight. Seriously, like, if, if fucking, like, Hajime had gone into the final dead room, like, on day one, like he want, wanted to, there'd be no reason for Nagato to have done it. There'd have been no fucking reason. This bright light greeting us, is that the light of hope? Light of Despair. Well now! Well then, now that the chatterbox Nagato is gone, there are only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Could have died them. Well, to be fair though, did, did Gundam even go into the dead into the dead room? Like did did like did Gundam even go in? Because wouldn't Gundam have gotten the uh, gotten the port the the folder? Then why didn't he have a file? I thought that was the reward. Hey! Yep. <laughs> All right. Now then. Oh, so okay, so it was a difficult thing. Okay. All right. 
Thanks for reminding me. Viva killing! All right, let's kill everyone. Hooray! When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. Turns out he was a sociopath. But his true nature held such a demented thought process, there was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope will never lose to despair. He said he'd become the stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. There are also times he saved us, too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. Jesus. I have no idea at all who did it, but... There's no way we can end this without knowing. We will be consumed by despair. That's why we absolutely have to find out. It's the person who finished off Nagato. The killer who murdered Nagato. In order to return from despair alive, we need to reach the truth. If Monokuma says this really is the last class trial, that's all the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial of billowing hope and despair, the last one, has begun. Yes, and let's save. Yay. Alright. So with that, I think I'm gonna leave this here so we can start this off on the next one and be like, well, like one, maybe two more streams and then we're done? Oh boy. Oh fucking boy. Oh shit. Ah. I actually thought this would outlast Persona for how fucking long it is. But hey, that means I can start Final Fantasy, which is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to doing that. Anyway, everybody, so hey! It, 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 thank you all for watching. Those of you who've been watching live, and those of you who've been watching on the VOD, if you are watching, if you're if you're new to the stream, then hey, hit that follow button. So next time I stream, you can you get a little email notification. And if you're watching on the VOD, then hey, why don't you swing by twitch.tv forward slash nozzychan at any point during the week. And at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there will always be a live stream, unless I get, like, debilitatingly sick. Oh boy. Um... And if you like my content, make sure you hit that like, that comment, that favorite, subscribe, all that good shit. And if you love my content, you always support me on Patreon, subscribe on Twitch, or if you feed a if you're here live. I am Nozvix, and I'll see you in the next video. And most importantly, I'll become a trash channel today, and I'll see you a round -a -roo.